Matt here from Divi Framework and today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about SEO and Divi. Yeah, there's a couple of little things you can look out for that make a big difference with Divi. The first one is make sure you put your alt tags on your images. It's in the advanced tab when you add your images in. Um, so a lot of people don't do it because they miss it. Um, and sometimes you might be thinking, well, I added it to the media gallery, isn't that enough? No, it's not. Go into the Divi Builder, add those alt and title tags to your images. The second one is duplicate titles. H1, H2, H3, they're called titles. And uh, if you end up with duplicate H1 titles, that can cause your page a fair bit of damage. So making sure that you select specifically what you want when you're using more than one header in the page is important. You should only ever have one H1 in a page. Only one, that's why it's a H1. H2, well two of those is pretty good. From then on H3s, H4s, you know what, the rule doesn't continue. You can have as many of those as you like. But it's important to organize that content with the right headings when it comes to your Divi builds. So once you've done that, is there anything else? Yep, there is. The big one is the portfolio tool. You see, when you're doing the portfolio tool and all that kind of stuff, you end up with lots of default pages from the post type. And quite often, that's not the page you want to have shown to the search engines. You want to show a page that's more like the one where you put the portfolio with the filterable blocks on it. So make sure you redirect those. Finally, I encourage everybody to run proper SEO auditing tools on their website. This will pick up things like duplicate headings, uh, when you're missing alt tags, all that kind of stuff. And of course, those pages that sometimes show up in WordPress that you don't need, the indexes for post types. One of the big helps for that, of course, is Yoast SEO. We install it on all our sites and I encourage you to do that too. Anyway, there's a couple of great tips there for SEOing your Divi-based websites. If you want more tips like this, subscribe to our channel, Divi Framework on YouTube. Like the video, share it, let us know what you want to know in the comments and we'll make sure that we create videos with helpful tips for you people out there using the Divi Builder. All right. That's out for me today. I'll talk to you later.